now a completely different story because it's been a good year if you're a Beatles fan. First, there was that incredible documentary, Get Back, then the final single, Now and Then. Well, now it has been announced that a biopic is going to be made about each member of the Fab Four recounting their roles in the legendary group. The project will be directed by the award-winning director, Sir Sam Mendes. Uh, let's speak live on the programme to the music journalist, Matt Charlton, for his take on things. And Matt, uh, that is, uh, it all sounds rather amazing because uh, he will have access to an astonishing archive, won't he? Yes, and I really was not expecting this news in the slightest. I'd really written off any Beatles biopic, let alone four of them. And the extraordinary thing is, as you said, they're making four separate films that I don't quite know how they're going to work because they haven't given us much information. But they're going to sort of meet at occasional points, uh, have the same scenes, but from different perspectives. And uh, Sony have said that it's going to have a innovative release cadence, which is the most media thing I've ever heard and doesn't mean anything at all. But I don't know whether they're releasing it at the same time as each other or they're staggering them it's a really interesting way of doing it yeah there is so much we don't know as well as the headline that they have announced today we know that sam mendes will be directing what do you think he potentially can bring to this and and do we know anything about how they might approach it we don't know anything about how they might approach it. I mean, this is, I think this is enough to be chewing over at the moment. And maybe they're doing the same, four separate stories intertwining. Um, but Sam Mendes, obviously a very trusted director, two Bond films under his belt, American Beauty, Revolutionary Road. He's just going to bring a level of quality and storytelling to it and a bit of faithfulness because obviously there have been a lot of knockoff Beatles biopics in, in the past, probably the most successful one being Backbeat in the early 90s and one of the least successful, the Linda McCartney story with a lot of uh, made-up scenes in it, um, completely unlicensed. But as you said, he's going to have access to all this Beatles archive and the permission of the remaining in Beatles and, of course, the estates of John Lennon and, and George Harrison, too. And I mentioned it in the introduction. You had that astonishing film from Peter Jackson uh, pretty recently. I mean, there is still a huge appetite for just everything about the Beatles, the music, the behind-the-scenes footage, just glimpses of the astonishing nature of putting the stuff together that they did. It's one of the ultimate stories. It's an ideal three-act structure of the 60s. It had a beginning, middle, and an end. A very bitter end, unfortunately, but it made the good drama. And you've still got all these world-beating directors and creatives queuing up to do something about them because they grew up with them and their music still endures, as we saw last year, as you said, with Now and Then, reaching number one in the charts. Matt, great to talk to you. Sorry it's so brief, but a really busy programme. But uh, uh, I look forward to uh, seeing these films oh, whenever they're made. And so do you as well. Big smile there at the end.